Piles, also known as hemorrhoids, are swollen and inflamed veins in the rectum and anus that can cause discomfort, pain, itching and bleeding. There are two main types of piles, internal hemorrhoids and external hemorrhoids. Here is an overview of each type and its treatment. The first one we are going to discuss is the internal hemorrhoids. So the internal hemorrhoids develop inside the rectum. Where there are fewer pain sensing nerves so they may not cause pain unless they prolapse or protrude through the anus or become thrombosed which is the development of blood clots. The symptoms of internal hemorrhoids may include bleeding during bowel movements, rectal itching or irritation and a feeling of incomplete evacuation even after bowel movements. The treatment options for internal hemorrhoids include the first one is lifestyle modification like increasing fiber intake, drinking plenty of fluids and avoiding straining during bubble movements can help prevent constipation and reduce pressure on hemorrhoids. Second is the topical treatments. We have over-the-counter creams, ointments or suppositories which contain hydrocortisone or witch hazel that help relieve itching and discomfort. Then we have the option of sclerotherapy. So this procedure involves injecting a chemical solution into the hemorrhoid to shrink it. And then we have rubber band ligation. So a rubber band is placed around the base of the hemorrhoid to cut off its blood supply causing it to shrink and fall off. We have another option of infrared coagulation which is also known as, as IRC. So this procedure uses infrared light to coagulate the blood vessel supplying the hemorrhoid and causing it to shrink. Last, we have hemorrhoidectomy, which is a surgical removal of internal hemorrhoids and it may be necessary for severe cases that do not respond to other treatments. Second is the external hemorrhoids. So the external hemorrhoids develop under the skin around the anus and can be more painful than internal hemorrhoids, especially if a blood clot forms that is thrombosed hemorrhoid. They can be painful and may cause discomfort, itching, swelling and sometimes bleeding, especially during bowel movements. So the symptoms of external hemorrhoids may include pain, swelling, itching and difficulty sitting comfortably. Now let us discuss the treatment options for external hemorrhoids which include lifestyle modifications which is similar to internal hemorrhoids, lifestyle changes such as increasing fiber intake, staying hydrated and avoid straining during bubble movements can help alleviate symptoms. Second is the topical treatments, which again is the use of the over-the-counter creams, ointments or pads containing hydrocortisone, lidocaine or witch hazel can help relieve pain and itching. Then we have another option of warm baths, which is also known as slits bath. Uh, soaking in warm water several times a day can help reduce pain and swelling. Then we have the option of thrombectomy, which is a surgical removal of a thrombosed external hemorrhoid and it may be unnecessary to relieve severe pain and swelling. Then again, we have the treatment option of hemorrhoidectomy. In some cases, surgical removal of external hemorrhoids may be recommended, particularly if they are large or recurrent. In the end, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment plan tailored to your specific condition and symptoms. They can provide guidance on the most suitable treatment options based on the severity of your hemorrhoids and your overall health. Additionally, maintaining good bubble habits and adopting a high fiber diet can help prevent recurrence of hemorrhoids. So dear viewers, that was all about piles or hemorrhoids. I hope you find this video informative and uh, keep watching Pharmacy D by Asim. Also, the links are given below in the description to our various social media platforms. Go follow us there as well for more informative stuff. Thank you.